Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. It is Friday. It is time for Fan Mail Friday where I open up peanut gallery mail. I have three packages today and they're not big so this should be a quick video. I totally meant to record this Thursday night because I did that last week and that worked out well for me but completely forgot. Yesterday was pretty busy anyway, so just do what I can do. So let's just get started and see what I got for clothing for my upcycled fashions. So excited! We have two international packages. Let's start with the one from the U.S. This is from Deborah from Michigan. M.I. Has to be Michigan. Minnesota. M.N. I'm going with Michigan. And it looks like this. Let's just dig right into it, shall we? Scissors. I am very careful to not cut any part of the clothing inside. I am well aware that there's cuttable stuff. Oh. I can honestly say I don't think... Oh. I don't think I've ever sewn anything like this. I'm trying to be further back today so I can show you this stuff better. Look at just even the pretty card. Black and white feathery. Do love. Darlene, greetings from Michigan. I was right, Michigan. I had to learn all the state abbreviations in high school for shorthand class, if I remember right. I wanted to send you this top to see if you could work some magic on it. The little snap-it bag I made for Skylar. Well, isn't that awesome? And you know what I'm doing? You know the little duct tape bag that I made? Let me get it. This is going to be Skylar's. And I'm putting the things inside that she has gotten so far. This is the one from Margaret had sent her some stickers and I have the little card to go with it so Skyla will know. And then I just put some other things in here like the leftover flat stones, the clay beads. I had painted some, some I didn't, but I had made with a craft concoction. I've got to do more of those. I have the little looms that I made so I can show her how to do that. I have some of the stuff that I made with the looms. It's just going to be like a catch-all for all things that I want her to see. And I am going to put this in there. <gasps> this is so nice. I don't even show you guys. Look. This is beautiful. Oh. It's one of those, you know, just those like little plastic things that you open like this. I'm jealous. How come I haven't been making these? Do you have a tutorial for this, Debbie? This is awesome. What did she call it? Snap it bag. I love this so much. I don't have to tell Skylar about it, do I? No. <laughs> Of course it's going to Skylar. What a beautiful thing that she will have. Oh my goodness, I just love this so much. Thank you. Really. It's beautiful. Thank you from Skylar. Of course, when I have her this summer, she'll be thanking everyone too. Okay, card goes with this. I'm just going to put it right inside. Likey so. And there. Thank you, Debbie, so much. Okay, for the shirt. How am I going to even work with this? I've never worked with this before. Look, sequins, all of them, sequins. Unbelievable. She wants me to work my magic. I might need to hire an additional magician. <laughs> I have no clue. Never have I worked with this at all, but it's going to give me a chance, isn't it? This is what I love about this whole getting stuff from you guys is because it forces me to do stuff that I probably would never normally do. I mean, I see that it's machine stitched. It's going to be very fun to figure this out. What a nice top, though. You know, seriously, half the time I hate to even deconstruct what we've got going on. But I bet you I can come up with something probably sort of simple. Oh, it is lined like that. 
Thank you so much, Debbie. I'm going to be thinking about this constantly. Oh, love it. And it's black. Love black. Okay, let's open the next one. This one is from another country. Am I going to be able to figure out from where? Is there any kind of a return address? Ah, it's on the back. So I can show you. This is the package. And it is from Naomi from the UK. My always number two country. Always US, UK, Canada. Top three. All right, let's open up this baby. We have a note. Dear Darlene, hope you're well. I have sent you a jersey for your upcycle project. This is a Welsh rugby shirt. Rugby is a huge game in the UK, especially in Wales. I'm not sure what you'll be able to do with it, but I hope you have fun trying. I'm a fan from Swansea. You, you know, I'm terrible with names of countries, cities, towns, people. I'm terrible with names. In South Wales, UK, if you ever get a chance to Google it, please do. It's very pretty. I'm sure it is. Many thanks and good luck, Naomi. Thank you so much, Naomi. P.S. My daughter Hannah loves your video, so could you say hi to her too? Yes. Hi, Hannah. So happy to have you in the peanut gallery too. And let's look at this shirt. A rugby shirt. Did it just come off a sweaty rugby player? I think not. Oh my. First, let me look at it. It's very stretchy, and it looks like this. It has mesh or a thinner fabric on the sides. All kinds of different fabrics in this. This is going to be fun to work with. A lot of plain, stretchy fabric in the back. A lot of the fabric in the front is even like, looks almost like little fish scales. Oh, down this part. I don't know if you can see that. Very cool. So thank you so much, Naomi and Hannah. I appreciate it very much. Next. This one looks like this, and it is a from. I don't see a return address. Maybe it'll let us know inside. How can there not be a return address? I don't understand. Maybe some countries just don't do that. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Oh my. <laughs> just <laughs> always amazed. Oh dear Darlene, I've enclosed two waistcoats. I'm so honored. Don't even know what a waistcoat is. <laughs> I I kind of sorta of know. <laughs> Didn't men used to wear waistcoats? I actually took a fashion um design class in college, but it was costumes, and I had to learn all the different clothing from all the different periods. Loved that class. I wore these waistcoats on many happy and sad occasions. The last being my, I believe it says Nan's funeral. I hope I'm reading that right. It's right on the crease, and it looks like Nan's funeral. Sorry for your loss. I'm really interested in what you'll do with these and want to congratulate you on 10,000 subbies. Have fun, Sam. Looks like Sam. P.S. Lots of love from Hastings, UK. East Sussex. <laughs> I don't, it just, I'm always going to laugh when I say things that I don't know how to pronounce. I'm one of your 14% male watchers. It's a boy! Oh, okay. So I was right, a waistcoat is for a man. See, I know a little bit of something. I am so intrigued by this. So far, what I'm seeing is beautiful. Look, they're beautiful. I don't even know what they're shaped like yet. Oh, it's a vest. It's what we call a vest. Two of them. That is so nice. It's by Mark Darcy, London. The trim is velvet. Oh, it's just really, really beautiful. So there's one, and the other is black. Also Mark Darcy. Well, this is very interesting. I am very excited to do something with this. I have a little bit of an idea. 
but I'm not sure. I'm not going to say my ideas because there's a good chance they won't happen. But thank you so much, Sam. Absolutely love the pieces that I got today. The one that I will lose sleep over is this one. <laughs> I'll lose sleep in a good way. I'll be like looking all around the internet for ideas. Oh my God. But these I love too. And I love this guy. I can see myself doing quite a bit with this because this is more um, just, you know, fabric that I can use and mix with other things. I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. Okay, as a reminder, please don't feel you need to send me anything. I have gotten quite a few things. So if you do want to send me something, don't feel you have to send a lot. One piece is good. That's all it takes. I will be as thrilled by one piece. I don't care if it's a t-shirt. Anything will be used. Obviously, if I get way too much stuff, it'll take a while probably before you see your item come up. So I'm not going to push it out there and say, please send me more stuff. I think it's just going to happen naturally. You know, those of you who happen to see something in your closet or at a thrift store, you might say, who? I bet Darlene would like that. And, you know, we're just going to see how it goes. If I ever get overwhelmed, I might say, you know, you guys, please put a hold on sending me anything for now. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's just going to work its way out that, you know, they'll just be a little bit trickling in. And do appreciate very, very much. I can't thank you enough. I'm so excited. I just wish I could have more time in my day because I think this is all I would ever want to do for the rest of my life. I can't imagine anything so wonderful as sewing till you die. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with more soon. Bye. You're so far away from me. If you would like to send anything for my upcycled fashions, my address is in the description box and in the top comment of this video. Thanks!